With a show about three guys with similar names, it's common to group them together and talk about the show with all three of them in mind. Today, we'll be focusing on the most notorious of the three, the con artist himself, Eddie. While the other Eds play their part, most of the trouble they get themselves into is because of Eddie's reckless decision making and his below average execution. Despite those failures, he still has some highlights. Which one stood out to us the most? Well, sit back, grab some snacks, and let's find out. Hey everyone, welcome to 90s Nostalgia. Today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Eddie moments in Ed, Ed and Eddie. If you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to 90s Nostalgia, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our countdowns regarding everything 90s. That being said, let's get started. Number 10. I'm hurt now. Eddie's not the best at making people feel better, and when Ed was having a really tense moment, this just made that fact a lot more clear for us. Instead of comforting Ed in whatever way he could, Eddie tries to use the tough love approach when trying to convert him to his usual happy state. Unsurprisingly, this doesn't work at all, and it only makes Ed even angrier than he already was. Eddie had to learn that the hard way. Snap out of it, you! You torment me! I'm hurt now! Number 9. Pig Standin. This one happened kinda fast, but in one instance, Eddie is wiped out recklessly by Ed being knocked senseless into a wall. But wait, what happened to his clothes? Well, Eddie broke the landing for someone else. This pig was just the right size to take Eddie's place, wearing his entire outfit and everything. Number 8. Loopy Eddie. One of the funniest moments with Eddie was definitely his loopy fit. Seeing him fit into a mailbox and confuse Ed and Double D for Johnny and Plank was just icing on the cake for many of us. From conning squirrels to a vine swinging getaway to mistaking a fire hydrant for a jawbreaker, this guy is seriously nuts. Hey! <laughs> drop those nuts! Number 7. Batter Up. Another brief moment, but this time Eddie isn't the one being hit. Well, Technically, he still is when you really think about it. Never thought I'd see Eddie used as a bat for anything, but Ed manages to make it work really well. Hey, if it makes Ed happy, then of course it's gonna put a smile on our faces too. Number six, half tan. Grab your floaties, cause summer is nearby. Well, be sure to grab some sunscreen or else you'll end up like these guys. Eddie probably had it the worst though, having his entire left side burned to a sizzly red and as if to make it worse, an awkward outline of his left hand to go along with it. Can't imagine walking around like that on the beach. Good thing I stay home and watch cartoons like these instead. Number 5. Did I win yet? It's Eddie against Rolf in a head-to-head -head endurance match. Well, it's more like a scripted obstacle course. While Rolf looks more than ready for what lies ahead, Eddie is constantly second-guessing the whole thing. But by then, it's already too late. The two endure everything the course has to throw at them, but even when Eddie thinks it's over, it's still going. Did I win yet? No. Catch you later, Eddie! Number 4. Volcano Head After stumbling upon Double D's catalog of failed inventions, one of them stood out to Eddie, which was an old volcano project Double D made years ago. It looks normal on the outside, but what it fails to do is actually work like a real volcano. Instead of erupting any sort of substance, it acts as a vacuum, quickly consuming Eddie's entire face in the most humorous way possible. Double D should probably get out of there before this thing goes after him. Number 3. All My Fault It takes a lot for people to admit when they're wrong. And the same especially holds true to Eddie, a guy who's known for his extreme stubbornness. After an emotional fight with Double D, the two are split apart, with Double D cutting their friendship and walking away for good. This triggers Eddie big time, to the point where he's uncontrollably crying and even saying he's sorry. Because everything was my fault! <laughs> yeah, you heard me! After admitting everything was his fault, Double D stopped walking away and came back to comfort him, accepting his apology and growing a stronger appreciation for their friendship in the process. Friends fight every now and then, you just need to hear each other out. Number 2. Bachelor Pad 
As a way to impress his brother, Eddie tries putting together a video showcasing his life in the cul-de-sac, though he greatly exaggerates the truth, painting his life to be one of popularity and pure comfort. This is painfully transparent though, and just about everything he lies about is almost immediately shown for what it truly is. You don't have to lie about your life, otherwise it'll only make it worse for you in the long run. We wonder what his brother thought when watching this though. Number 1. The Truth Speaking of Eddie's brother, we get to meet him in the series finale. He might not be what any of us expected though. While presuming his brother was cool and a role model, everyone quickly sees just how wrong they were about him, having a shift in paradigm after seeing just how badly he treats Eddie. Eddie opens up and admits to only being the way he was because he looked up to his brother. He wanted to be just as cool and accepted for something he truly wasn't. Everything about my brother was a lie. I just made things up so people would like me, think I was cool. But boy was I wrong. When am I gonna learn, Double D? I think you just have, Eddie. This act of self-evaluation and honesty was what earned Eddie the respect of everyone in the cul-de-sac, realizing that his brother is the uncool one in this situation, and people will always love you if you just learn to accept yourself. Eddie was definitely a big reason the show was so fun to watch, but what do you think? Did you enjoy our list? Which Eddie moments do you remember enjoying? Share them with us in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to 90s Nostalgia so you can keep up with our wide array of countdowns regarding everything 90s. That's all for now, thanks for watching, and we'll catch y'all next time.